One thing that you can learn about a narcissist or about yourself indirectly through the narcissist is your qualities. You know, when they mirror you, they don't mirror your worst traits and they only mirror you at the best time of the relationship. And the only time the relationship is going to be good when they're love bombing you. Essentially, they're holding up a mirror to you and showing you what they see. That's it. They are revealing another depth of your character. When you consider a butterfly, it's one dimensional. It doesn't get to see its beautiful wings and what we get to view. And sometimes we as people are just the same. We don't get to see and we don't always acknowledge our finer qualities, but that narc comes into your life and holds up a mirror by mirroring who you are and you fall for that person. But understand that that is essentially you. You are exactly everything that they showed you. What you get to experience throughout the relationship and at the discard is their true identity. Now consider who you are. Consider everything that you brought to the table, everything that you showed them, everything that you offered, everything that you embody and ask yourself this, do you deserve that? Do you deserve that person that you now know them, them to be a pathological liar, a pathological cheater, somebody who didn't mean you any good from day one? Because believe me, the moment they came into your life, the moment that they stepped on the scene, lies were being told. And so I want you to remember this. Hate is educational. When you find out what the narcissist hates about you, you find out what makes you so valuable. And they do this without you, without them even knowing. So that's about the only thing we can take away from these relationships because they are non-productive and they don't lead us anywhere but into a pit of misery. But you don't belong there. You come forth. You come from behind and fearlessly pursue your most significant state.